Hello and welcome to Savage's Reviews and Recommendations. In today's video we're going to be talking about The Matrix Resurrection. Before I get into my main review I'm just going to say the film to me is not a good film. I feel like it was unnecessarily made and it's, it's to me feels like a somewhat of a cash grab. Now I'm going to tell you Reasons why I'm not a big fan of this film. Let's start with the action scenes. Now, not to say they're all bad, I think the first action scene we're in the beginning, where it introduces us back into the Matrix uh, franchise, makes us feel like, okay, some of a nostalgic feel, getting us comfortable. Apart from that scene, the majority of the action scenes feel very bland, feel very generic, and feel like the same as every other film's action scenes, too many cuts to the point where we can't see anything. And quite disappointing as what it was great about The Matrix is it looked so different to every other f action film at the time and still looks great to it today. And it's disappointing that the Wachowskis didn't take this film as an opportunity to improve on that. And also another thing, we have John Wick himself, Keanu Reeves, in this film. I'm surprised that he didn't make any suggestions on how the choreography should go on action scenes. As that would have been really interesting to see, but again, yeah, the last scene, that action sequence, was quite interesting to say. But yeah, the majority of them were, as I said earlier, bland, generic, and similar to everything else. Another thing that I was really disappointed with was the plot. I think they tried their best to make it too convoluted, to the point where we, the audience, don't know what's real, real or not, like Neo, as they say that The Matrix itself, the three films, are games, and he himself has been, when creating it, has put himself in this mindset of where he actually believes he is in The Matrix, and it, it, it put too much effort into convincing the audience of this when near, like, halfway through, we are hit with, oh yeah, yeah, no, you are in the Matrix, we're here to break you out. It just felt forced upon, personally. One thing I did enjoy about this film is the love tr somewhat interpretation between Trinity and Neo, as together they're stronger, but separating them, they were somewhat weaker. And it was nice to see them come back together and them connecting is what made them, made him Neo and her believing in him, made him that extra powerful. But at the same time, it felt somewhat pointless from the enemy's point of view to build them back again, because obviously they died in the last Matrix film, to bring them back, spending 60 years to do this, only for them to break out and defeat the enemy. It just didn't make sense in my eyes. One more thing that I did find very annoying about this film is how much they relied on nostalgia from the get-go, they're using it. And it felt like they were using it to try and get the audience interested again, like, oh, like, get this reference, get this reference. And it felt just like, oh, I'd rather watch the original than this. This is it's fucking annoying. <laughs> Stop with the nostalgia and actually show me a good film and it couldn't do it. While I understand why this film was made, it felt, again, that it was a happy ending as in the good, none of them died and only evil was vanquished, which it feels too happy, too like good one, evil zero, whilst Matrix 3. Even though we lost two of the biggest characters, they made a huge sacrifice and caused peace between the worlds. And that's that was more of an interesting way of ending that film. And also, they referenced at the end that Neo could come back. Whether or not he will was up to question. So they leave that question in the audience's mind was, and this one was like, oh yeah, no, they're alive, yeah, they're alive, everything's good, yay. It's like, no, ugh. Yeah, overall, I think this film does nothing for the franchise, personally. It doesn't uplift it in any way, but more downgrades it, because this film feels like a typical uh, late sequel cash grab, which only infuriates fans who... Yeah, overall I'd give this film a 5.5, .5. I 
I don't think it really deserves that, but I think the love interpretation to action scenes from it made the film somewhat worth watching. On to recommendations on the other hand, the Wachowskis are known for great other projects as for example V Vendetta, which I believe they did a great adaptation on Alan Moore's great graphic, uh, political graphic novel, which I think deserved a great adaptation after what happened to the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And not only is Alan Moore's art seen great in cinema, but also Wachowski's go up as well. Another thing I'd recommend is Sense 8, a Netflix TV show, whilst it only has two seasons. It definitely has great, interesting action moments that stay in your head. So brilliant and amazing to watch. Now on to what I believe they definitely took influence from and what they influenced, starting with what I believe they took influence from, is Terminator, especially the first one. You can see a lot of similarities between the Terminator and Agent Smith as they're determined to stop the enemy and keep their mission intact very similar, also very quite scary as well. And I believe they definitely had a hand in influencing the film Inception, both using realities and bending them at will, and some knowing what is real and some not knowing what is dream or fake. Alright, hope you enjoyed the review.